hello and welcome in this video i'll be showing you how to create social media post design in corridor so you can do this in less than 15 minutes so you can create creative design like this on corridor so first thing you just have to do is set your page size so i'll be making use of five by five inches so for the instagram and facebook so the the number size is five by five or you can make use of four by four just make sure you have a ratio one over one so make sure the two sides are equal so i can make use of i can add a noise background to this so it doesn't look too plain so you can go to your effects add noise and make use of gaussian noise effect for the background so you can just have your text and i'll be having just little text like this like this my friday text so um you can make use of montserrat fonts so you can go to your font list and search for montserrat or you can make use of any font of your choice go to your font list if you see any font that is simple and okay so you can just make use of any font of your choice then i'll be having this text um friday so you can duplicate it into three so you can just you can duplicate you can press ctrl d for duplicate the shortcut is ctrl d duplicate and you can also um duplicate it using your mouse to drag and to to copy so then once you are done you can just align it to center so you just have it aligned already so just very simple like that so you can just set it like this and we just have it very simple like that and once you once you are done you can just click once you click it's going to show you an uh, arrow so you can just click on the side then you can just slant the direction just very simple like that and let's have thank god it's friday so you just have this text thank god so you can just reduce the size then just put it upward uh, so you can just slant it so if you look down down at your status bar so it, clicking on the picture is going to show you what you can use the picture for so if you look at the down part of your status bar so right here so you can see anything so let's just make use of picture that i want to use for so let me just go to my gallery then drag a picture so i'll just make use of this for my design just very simple so you can make use of any png picture so you can go to my um my videos my previous videos you can go and search for how to download png picture so you can also download your png picture and have something like this so very simple then you can just apply a shadow effect and just have something simple like this you know <laughs> so once you are done setting the shadow effect so you can just have another something like this so you can just create a rectangle then fill it with a white color then you can power clip it inside your main object so you can just power clip it so you can just have this white down part can have it like this so just very simple like that so and so we can just have our text then we can add some other um pngs to, to the design so it doesn't look too plain and <laughs> all right so you can just adjust the color okay like i can make it of black right here let me see i think it's okay like this okay then let's just add some other png right there so you can just add some flower so you can go to your png site so to download your images so so you can have these flowers also so like this and i have this png like this also so you can always download your png so you are done there are various sites you can download your png so you can go to png3.com you can go to you can go to similarpng.com then likewise also you can go to png freepng.com so you can search online or you can go to my previous video you can check for how to download your png files right there just very simple like that and once you are done so we have you can also download this instagram um love emoji stuff like that you can download your your tree your flower and any png file you need to download you can download them there so i can just edit this and just make it green and all right so you can just have it like this so i already made a video on how to change your your vector color so you can just go back to the video and just watch on how to do that just very simple like that so once you are done you can just add um motion blur effect on this emoji so you can just go to your effect go to blow and go to motion blur so you can just have a motion blur you can have an effect like this just very simple so you can just hit okay once you are done then you can also duplicate it you can have it at some other part of the design so you can just duplicate it and just make sure you play along the along with the design just very simple like that so um, you can just have something like this and so you can just have a feel like this so you can make use of a gradient feel so it wants to draw a circle so we are trying to make um a reflection lightning reflection on the lady body or 
on the lady's face so you can just have something simple like this so you can after you are done with the gradient paste so go to your effect then click on gaussian blur so you can just add gaussian blur to it so once you are done with the gaussian blur convert it to bitmap after converting to bitmap then you can just go to your transparency tool and click overlay just very simple like that you're going to have something like this so you can just reduce the transparency so that the color doesn't get too much on the lady's face so you can just do and duplicate it on the rest of her body just very simple like that you can also download some flowers on your png the png site so similar png free png.com so you can download your flowers there so you can add your design and make it look beautiful and you know make it look cool for the eye so it's just very simple you can just add it to it and you can just add a little bit of motion blur to it so it doesn't look too obvious on the design so uh, right so you can just add this flower to it just very simple flower you can download any any design any flower design any color just make sure it goes along and the color com complements your design also just very simple like that Then you can also duplicate this text because you, you can add this text effect then duplicate the thank god is you know you can just duplicate it and fill it out so you can just set an outline for it then you can just adjust the outline click f12 on your keyboard or go to outline then you can set the point and you can also set the lines so you can make it of broken lines and just have something like this just very simple like this that's just all about how to create a simple social media post so you can just create this very simple so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found this video helpful so you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like and share to your friends thank you for watching